There's four common ways to tear your ACL. What are they? Let's talk about them. Okay, first things first, let's talk about what the ACL does. So it starts off in the back side of the femur right here, and then comes forward and attaches to the front part of this tibia. Pretty much it's gonna get taut when you pull the tibia forward, or if you push the femur backwards, it's gonna get taut. So that's one of its main things, but it also resists the extreme of all motion. So it's gonna be taut in the extreme of varus, the extreme of valgus, and the extreme of extension, and the extremes of any rotation at the knee. So this first mechanism of injury that we're gonna talk about is extreme valgus especially when the foot is on the ground. So what does that look like? It's when this part of the, the bottom part of the tibia is gonna crank out. And valgus, it just means turned out. Varus means turned in. So when the distal part of the joint tibia comes out this way. So number two, we have extreme rotation at the knee. with the foot on the ground especially. The reason why it's just rotation and not a specific type of rotation is because it's both of them. It can be extreme of external rotation of the knee when the tibia externally rotates or the femur internally rotates, or it could be the opposite of that. Because the ACL resists the extremes of all of the motion, any excessive rotation, especially when the foot isn't allowing any movement and it's just at the knee and the hip, then the knee can take all this load and it can become too much and the ACL can. Number three is a combination of one and two, either or with the leg collapsed in with an excessive rotation or an excessive valgus. But the key part that makes it different is excessive excessive quadricep contraction with either excessive rotation or excessive valgus along with plus the knee is close to full extension. The reason why this extension component is here is because when the knee's flexed and bent, um, a lot of the ligaments are slackened and all of the ligands, ligaments become taut in knee extension. And so you, you make the ligament, the ACL taut when you're more extended anyways. And then when you add on excessive rotation, excessive valgus, and then this strong quadriceps contraction, pulling on the patella, which is gonna wanna bring the tibia this way, is going to put even more force on that tibia or onto the ACL and cause damage. And then the fourth common way that we get an ACL injury is severe, severe hyper extension. So if the tibia is bent, Fold it back into the board. The tibia is gonna come forward and what's happening is the joint, the tibia is gonna roll and slide away. And as the tibia rolls and slides towards us, towards the camera or towards me, it's, it's doing what the ACL is going to resist. So when you're in full extension, the tibia has gone to the extreme this way, which is what the ACL resists. I guess a classic one that could be an example of this is when if you were to do like a jump stop in basketball, but your leg was completely straight and you had this strong quadriceps contraction and wanting to pull the tibia forward and then femur backward. If you like this video about the ACL, <laughs> oh yeah. If you like this video about the ACL, check out this video on the patellofemoral joint. And please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. See ya.